lovelies and welcome back to another video so as you can tell probably from behind what I've got going on and by the title I am doing a scrapbooking session and this is going to be for Cornwall this has been a long time coming because me and Luke actually went to Cornwall in August early like right at the start of August as well so it's been a number of months but I've been super busy but I've been also really excited to start the scrapbook so in a minute you'll be able to see what my scrapbook's going to be looking like and what I'm going to be designing now. the idea that I've got I want to make it really creative but also so just jam-packed I want it to be crazy and wild and um, I don't want there to be like hardly any space on the pages because I feel like with scrapbooking like I like the messy kind of like feel to it I that's that's definitely what I want I want to see my scrapbooking of Cornwall and hopefully like you'll be able to see a little bit of my memories as well and then keep watching <laughs> So I'm going to start off by showing you my scrapbook, which I'm obsessed with the scrapbook right now. We have these little um, things that came with it. So these like little tags that I can customise. Yeah, you get quite a few with them. I'll show you a little close up of them, but like look how amazing they look. And then also I got these postcards, which you can also customise as well. You can actually get these personalised and put like your name on them or something, but then like they're all the same and I didn't want that. But then like the main thing, look at this book it's beautiful right so obviously i had to customize them put shan link's adventures on it so this is going to be purely for my link's travels I'm, i might get a separate one for something like a little bit different but yeah even like the detailing down to like the rope these little things like all these little bits like the corners of the book it's just all so premium and you could i think you could half customize this on the front i think you could put like adventure or let our adventure begin and then the back was really really similar as well but this is what the front cover is I mean all this again just gorgeous and really high quality and then you can customize and put whatever you want here I decided to pick a quote and um, as soon as I saw you I knew a grand adventure was about to happen I thought that was really fitting considering it's about traveling and also about me and Luke so I thought that was perfect and then here we go the first page I have an idea of what I want to put on here but at the same time, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, so we shall see. I found some Pinterest ideas. I'm gonna do something similar to this, but definitely not as good as this. And the next pages will start with our Cornwall trip. So the mission, first of all, is to start with this front page. difficult to find an actual like world map that wasn't just really really like thin and like small just from like a book because I wanted like the perfect size. I found this in like the kids section in the works and this is gonna work really really well so I'm gonna cut out a circle from this. <laughs> layer this up and just sort of like have this almost like you know it's the that's sort of like the globe this is just sort of like the background I think I'm gonna put like quotes around the edges and put sort of like stickers around to sort of make it a bit more fancy and there's something to look at so that is the idea now so I'm just gonna stick it all down now layer it and then get on to the decorating side which is really really exciting I haven't used ripstick in so long <laughs> sometime in high school for sure double-sided and they just give that sort of like layer so it gives a bit more of like a 3d effect and that's exactly what i want so i'm just gonna spend a million years trying to get into these so bear with me i'll use that there you go so that's like slightly raised now okay so i've got loads of little stickers which i think are really really good um like little flowers um butterflies Got. this I think is gonna be really really cool on the front cover yeah just on stickers like this I'm just gonna sort of like place them about and see where I want them and then I don't know we'll see, we'll see what it is I might add another quote or something to it and then we'll go from there really but I'm really excited to get onto the Cornwall stuff so I kind of don't want to spend too long on this section <laughs> I might add a couple more things like um, down here and up here Oh, I can't, you're not seeing, there we go, up here. Uh, but for now, I think I'm gonna move on, but I'm very, very happy actually. Look how nice that looks. It doesn't look quite like the picture, but I mean, it wasn't gonna anyway, because I'm not an artist. But I'm very happy with that. Okay, so let's move on to Cornwall. Now, with Cornwall, I hatch, actually have. Me and Luke got a disposable camera, and we took some photos, not knowing what they were gonna turn out like, and we have got 
I mean, that's completely blank. <laughs> but we have lots of really cool photos. Yeah, and this, honestly, if you're thinking of like a little idea, if you're going away somewhere, take a disposable camera, it's so fun. So I am gonna be um, sort of like cutting these out and stuff and using them along the way. I don't know how many pages I wanna use yet. I should probably um, think about <laughs> that before because obviously I've only got a limited amount of pages and I've obviously got Scandinavia to do. So yes, um, I'm gonna think about what I wanna do and then I'm gonna talk you through it and let's just get let's just get let's get creative guys So I've got these, um, I want to say maybe the range, I'm not too sure, but you've got silver ones and gold ones, I just thought these were so cool, uh, I didn't actually take my Polaroid camera with me, uh, but I could turn them into ones with uh, these decorations, so I thought, yeah, if the people who are watching like DIY stuff and scrapbooking, I feel like you'll love these, and I don't think they're very expensive, so I just thought I'll make a note of that. Okay, so I thought I would give you an update as what it looks like a little bit more close up. So I'm actually really, really impressed with how this has come out. Like the Polaroid, the fake Polaroid look looks amazing. And I really like the fact that this wasn't planned, that the um, material, do you know what I mean? Um, I can't think of the word of that right now. Um, matches the Polaroids, which I really, really love. So I think I'm gonna add in some more decorations and then I'm gonna move on to this page, which I'm gonna do maybe like a little doodle and stuff like this as well, just to make it a bit more personal. Okay, so the first little design, um, it's gonna be a suitcase, but then also a, um, not itinerary, what am I thinking, a, t a tick list of stuff that you would, oh, stuff that you'd buy, which I thought was pretty cute. And now I think I'm gonna decorate this with more photos because I've got so many photos of Cornwall and I don't wanna be using too many pages up. So I'm gonna do some more, little bits and bobs and decorate it with other little stickers and stuff that I've got. Okay, so I think, I think, I think, I think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. So if I show you, I really like these little sort of photo design that I put around the edges here. And then we've got the St. Ives as the background, this little boarding ticket here. And um, obviously my little doodle down here, but I'm very, very happy. And then um, I can't remember whether I showed you any update on this, but I added some stickers and little, little bits and bobs to this one, which yeah, I'm very happy how this has turned out. So I'm gonna move on to the next section now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What to put on these two? This is the question. I'm gonna try and this is gonna be the last, um, the last section for the Cornwall. And I've got many, many photos that I want to use. So um, I think I'm gonna have to cut some of these up, like really, like what have I got? Duh, duh, duh. Okay, so I've got six photos, so I could do three on each side. I just don't know how I'm gonna like lay them out yet or anything like that. So I'm gonna brainstorm and then yeah, you can sort of see my thought process as I go along. that page done let me just put that in view a little bit more for you hold on give me a sec so we've got seize the day i thought that was very fitting and then we've just kind of like gone a bit ott on this one but i like it i like the fact that they're very jam-packed crazy and the stickers are very fitting i had to try and do my best with fitting in sort of like the pictures because i just found out something else that i want to put on the other side so i don't know how much room i'm gonna have but yeah so that is second to last page let's finish this up and uh, then i'll show you all at the end as well I think 
interesting, I think. It might be finished. Maybe let's put a little, let's put a little snappy snap on here somewhere. Sure, why not? Let's put one here. <laughs> I have so many other cool ideas. Oh, I could use some of these as well. No, okay. I think, I think I'll leave it as that. So, um, we're gonna go through the star and show you sort of like what they are and then you can see them sort of like a little bit better. Okay, so now I am up here and you can see. So let's open the book together. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. Here we are. Yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna add a quote up here because I just feel like this bit's a little bit bare. How sick does this look? Even though this is maybe one of the least craziest in terms of like what's going on, this one might be one of my favorites. And maybe I will add, I might add like a little quote here as well, just like filling the gaps again, because like, I like it. I don't like gaps, do you know what I mean? So I might do another quote here. And um, it's quite nice actually to go back and see it like this. Um, but again, with the pictures, I love the Polaroids. Uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite pages. And then we turn it around. Yeah, this is really, really cool. Really simple, actually. I feel like this is one of the simplest pages, but it's actually turned out really, really effective, especially like the little uh, drawing that I did down here as well. Another jam packed down. I'm trying to like be really careful with it because there's lots of stuff that can probably fall off. And um, yeah, I like the little decorations and just kind of like, this is definitely very um, bam, crazy, messy page, but I really, really like it with like little dolphins. I think this is like the girl and boy, so that's why I picked it for me and Luke. But um, yeah, and some of these pictures are really, really funny. Like they're like not the nicest pictures. No, they're not flattering at all. But I just absolutely love it. Like I love a disposable camera. And then we've got this almost. It's not like interactive, but I just like the fact that we can like pull this up. This is actually where I stayed at my uncle's. Um, he has like a cottage that he rents out for Airbnb. So um, I kept this as a keepsake. And then we have got our photos, our last photos. This picture actually down here it's a little bit dark you can barely see luke this is actually luke here this is us on the train back home so we're pulling like little sad faces but again i've just decorated it with like the craziest weirdest stickers there which i really really like that's it for my cornwall scrapbook guys so that's it my lovelies i hope you enjoyed my scrapbook in cornwall if you do like this type of thing i'm going to be doing another one i'm going to do three separate scrapbooks one for denmark one for sweden and one for norway so if you like that type of vibes then keep, then stay tuned because they will be coming out probably sometime in December now. Take care guys, stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next video.